If you guys wonder why I pug, it is going to be because of moments that you see here in this video and also in the last one. If you guys didn't see that last video, it is one of the best of the entire expansion. It's going to be a hard act to follow, but we have the pleasure of doing it with one of my favorite types of interactions here on the North American realms in the Mythic Plus pug community. Let's get right into the action. We are here studying a little bit at the Algathar Academy, and in this classroom, we are learning the language Spanish. If you have watched my content over the many years, you know that it has become a pretty big talking point over the years about how many players on the United States, obviously it's the North American realms, are speaking something other than English nowadays. Personally, I honestly don't care because I don't really feel like any communication in Mythic Plus is productive, so if they're communicating in a language, language I can't even understand, then that doesn't really change my opinion on the topic. But you will also know that is one of my favorite things to see these guys arguing with each other. Up until this point, obviously, there's no real mistakes. They're just starting the dungeon. Most people come here first, but we see that Monk actually dies. The content is not like the clearest, but yes, you can tell that the person has died on this guy's party frames. There's like a little skull on it, but like you can tell because it is like backfilled. Usually I have it the opposite on my frames, but I think a lot of people like it to start black and then fill with color that's how they do it so yeah the monk has now died that is the second death of the dungeon just keep that in mind because they get over to croth and you know nothing's really gone wrong still only two deaths like no problems i mean i mean the dps charts are not the easiest thing to see either with the tooltip overlapping it but you can tell that everybody's doing pretty good i mean it's a 10 tyrannical sanguine and volcanic so one of the easier weeks sanguine in here is not very difficult luckily this boss can always be difficult and i think like a lot of people waste a lot of their momentum on the pull of the boss whereas you know when the boss gets the fire debuff it can actually take even more damage that's usually where people used to blow us but it doesn't really what just happened there so in order to start the boss you have to run uh through those little crystalline balls on the ground and then take him to the goal and kick it it's a it's a game they're trying to make a sport out of it you see the monk he's the last guy in the circle you see him he's right over there watch here comes the fire three two one the guy dies i mean i don't even know what he's doing he's afk like now this is where things get interesting because okay the boss has been pulled let's this is like super 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 crucial we got to keep watching this until every detail is obvious okay dies to the fire three two one we've seen this a million times now watch this so we're gonna see the shaman start to cast a spell this is obviously going to be the res on this guy okay but take a look at this guy too he's also casting something now pay attention to the paladin he starts casting a different spell you see that he was using the one hand animation and now he's doing the book animation can anybody who plays a paladin tell me the two different spells that that guy is casting that may be important for this discussion although i'm not sure it is and i am not sure it is because if you watch the shaman watch he's going to get this cast off this is a very long pass so you see the players getting rezzed and he's going to be rezzed at the shaman's location there he is he's standing right next to the shaman so the shaman gets the res off right that means an out of combat res we didn't use a battle res there right because if the guy reses at the shaman's location that means he was rezzed by that player that's how this works right i'm not a hundred percent sure on it if anybody wants to try to correct me on any of this stuff let me know but especially if you think the prop pally used a battle res there please let me know if in some way he used a battle res and it is consumed even though the monk was rezzed at the shaman's location please alert me to that because that will change the discussion that we are about to have okay so anyway that guy dies pretty much out of combat to being afk not a good look in any key but has no real impact on the dungeon that kind of death is just silly it's a bad visual but obviously it's not going to hurt them here at all they're going to do the boss here and as you see this is a pretty hard fight no matter what they were talking about how they want to do it before my recommendation is always to pick a target for how long you think you can survive the mechanic the mechanic that it does stacks up so then you want to try to throw the ball in a way that it interrupts whatever stack is one plus the one you think you can easily survive so a lot of people go to three and then they immediately kick it this is a waste this is you're wasting so much time doing this because he won't cast the ability again for a while and you could actually interrupt him casting the ability so you can get a fourth one to go out but not actually finish the cast and it won't hit you i would really 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 recommend doing this in the future it really adds a lot of time if you do this on both ends of the fight and then you can maximize your bloodlust time too this is why i do the route i do because bloodlust would come up in the middle of the encounter usually so it'd be perfect timing for when the fire is cast but anyway uh the fight is you know almost dead 27 percent it looks like and this is a fight that's like notoriously hard for a tank too uh, 
I remember when I played my alt in Season 1 as a prop pally, I got my ass kicked on this fight. It's actually pretty easy as Blood DK, but as all the other tanks, I guess it's a little bit harder. So you see this Paladin taking a lot of damage, and then he is going to die. Let's try to look at what exactly happens there. I'm going to assume the damage spike is just from the boss, because I don't necessarily see, unless he gets hit by two fire swirls there, I don't necessarily see how he gets chunked like that and then dies after that. The tank actually even says, he says, I got knocked into that crapola. But here is why we're making the video coming up right now. The rogue from Quelthalos says, stupid monk, F key. The monk then says double question mark. So if you recap, like, so the monk gets killed out of combat before the fight. They wipe to the boss because the paladin is unable to move his character very well. I don't fully understand why he's saying he got knocked into it. To me, it looks like he simply walks into that. It's hard to see though. The footage isn't like perfectly clear, but they clearly die because the tank is dead and then everybody else gets killed because they don't have a tank. This is now the rogue saying this to the monk. He says, you screwed up. This one, I can't get like, a great translation on, but it sounds like he's saying in response the monk is saying how if the tank is the one who died that's what it reads to me like why are you blaming me if the tank is the one that died the rogue comes back with the hard line and says and you do not realize you do not realize how you fucked up we lost a whole res this one now this again this is crucial to the translation like is this a correct translation i don't know because what's said here is very important for the actual argument and again what's very important is what happened monk is now trying to defend himself another one that doesn't make a ton of sense when you google translate it the guy says how to see i i don't i assume he's thinking like how do you figure or where are you seeing that what makes you think this happened this is probably the mindset here because the guy's saying you know you died you messed up you don't even realize how bad you messed up we lost a whole res to this this is like interjecting lines so we're back to what the rogue's saying like in between the monk interjects but he's saying we lost a whole res for your antics for your stupid you know being afk what a terrible mistake you made now, I think the funniest part about all of this is the guy who actually died, who actually made the mistake, as far as I can see, the tank. He goes, you guys are doing great with a smile. Like, come on, shut up. Let's finish the dungeon, right? That's the group leader, too. He knows exactly what's coming. And in response to the tank saying, you guys are doing great with a smile, the rogue says, nah, it's a waste of time. He could be talking about communicating with a monk, but like, man, people like that really rub me the wrong way when they say, your key is a waste of my time. These guys guys are arguing about nonsense straight up like I don't know what's going on here maybe there's some mistranslation of what I'm reading here but if somebody says like hey man could you just calm down I'd like to finish this key and they say no it's a waste of time yeah because you're in the key you caused the waste of time look at this guy's just sat here still dead arguing in Spanish with this other guy so the only thing I could think of is that this somehow a battle res did get used but the conversation about the res makes no sense to me whatsoever because if you see the group's comp they don't have another battle res class the only guy who can battle rest somebody is the prop paladin himself maybe we're you know suspending disbelief here that somebody actually has the battle res thing or maybe the rogue is saying he has it on his bracers or whatever that is and he can go and battle res the tank but because we wasted the battle res we don't have one for the tank now but that doesn't even really make sense because we're 15 minutes through the dungeon and they only used the one on the previous fight that's why i showed that right like i don't uh, you you tell me you guys tell me here to me this reads as as long as i understand exactly what's being being said in Spanish. This reads like this guy has no idea what actually happened. He is blaming the monk because honestly, that was a very bad optics death, but really had nothing to do with the reason they wiped. It's just a hard tank fight. And this is why people bloodlust it. This is why people take it serious. This is why I do the route I do. So we always have the maximum uptime on this fight and the best CD usage possible. I don't know. There's something that always will gleam my eye whenever I see two people arguing in a different language. It's just like almost kind of fun. It's like you get a little present and then you have to unwrap it one line at a time. Like, what is this guy saying? Let's Google translate it. It's like, oh, I can't believe he said that. But yeah, just a short one. Unfortunately, wasn't able to stream today. We will be back with another stream tomorrow, hopefully. And then more videos on the weekend. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. A lot going on IRL this weekend, but still pumping out the mop remix on the second channel. Let me know what you guys think about this, especially if you guys actually speak Spanish and are from this region. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Otherwise, we will see you guys in the next video.